Why do I like the Flyers so much? Why am I obsessed with them? Well, this just goes to show you, they're not just a hockey team. I told you guys before, a lot of people PM me like, dude, why do you like the Flyers so much? I just got a PM uh, yesterday from a buddy, he sent me a link. Rob Zombie. His movies are awesome. I love it. They're very rough and rugged and they're brutal. I love it. Rob Zombie is going to do a movie about the Flyers. Not the Rangers. Not the Penguins. Not the Bruins. Not the Devils. The Flyers. I told you guys back in the 70s they were the most exciting team in the NHL to watch. Still to this day, their 70s time, no one could touch when it comes to brutal hockey and excitement. So, how many other people can say Hollywood is doing a dedicated movie to a certain hockey team? Yeah. What's up, Rich? What's up? Ebomi. What's up, Miss Ebomi? I love it. I love it. That's how cool they were. They're doing a movie about them. On a serious note, uh, Rob Zobby's going to make it like a Rocky One feel, because that's how it was. When they first came to the uh, NHL, they weren't that good, and teams were roughing them up. So, Whoever runs it got together and said, I want to get the meanest, baddest, brutalest, badasses in the NHL, and I want to put them all on one friggin' team. That's what they did. I'm not even kidding you. And when you watch them play, the Flyers, it was like watching, it was like get, getting ready to watch a Mike Tyson fight in his heyday. Remember how exciting that was when Mike Tyson was going to fight again? You couldn't wait to watch it. That's how it was. And 73, 74, 75, that's how awesome they were. So I'm real excited about that. I can't wait to see it. It's going to be like, you know, it's going to be like the movie Slapshot. Awesome. I can't wait. Touching, touching myself. Okay. Uh, just thought I'd let you know that. You guys know I'm going to brag about that shit. Come on, give me a break. How often does that happen? What other hockey team have they made a movie about? A motion picture big screen movie about. I can't think of any. What, the Charlestown Chiefs? That ain't a real team. That was a, that was a, a slap shot movie. I love it, baby. Hey, Rich. After that movie comes out, get ready. You're going to be selling a whole lot more Flyers jerseys, buddy. You know Rob Zombie ain't going to miss. He's going to make it good. There's uh, Ron's AR. And we're getting ready to put the last two parts in. They finally came. Dave Tubb Spring came in on a big ship. I heard the big ship. I heard the big foghorn when it was pulling in the lot. The spring is here. All right. Even though their shipping ain't that great, they make a great product. And uh, I have a Dave a Dave Tubb Spring in my AR, and I have a Spikes Tactical Buffer in my AR. And we're going to do the same thing to Ron's. Ron's AR is complete. What do you guys think? It's got it's it's loaded. It's got all the uh, upgrades. The gun is now worth about twenty six hundred bucks, and uh, wow, wasn't hard to do, right? No really gunsmithing was involved. Just knocked a couple pins out, attached some stuff, and you're done. The only the only mistake I made was I moved the gas block when I put the pin in. So now I got to get the the gas block right. So we're going to try to do that today. I'm an idiot. I didn't mark it. I forgot to mark the gas block before I uh, pinned in the uh, Osprey gas system and it moved a little. It's my fault. So hopefully you learn from my mistakes. You guys will not do that. Make sure you mark your gas block before you put the pin in because your gas block will move. Okay, just mark it with, with a little piece of chalk in the front or something. Okay, let's get this in. Uh, the firearm is safe. What's up? What's up? 
and then the port's on the other side so you can't see it. I'm facing it this way so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, everything is safe and uh, we are going to take it, we are going to take the lower, I mean the upper off the friggin lower and then we're going to um, install the spring and the uh, buffer. Okay, so let's get my pin pusher. Okay, lower off. Uh, you have to take the whole the whole upper off. I just wanted to, you want to get it out of your way. Okay. Okay. Now I'll get my other pin pusher because I don't like to push metal on metal. And what you have here, I know you can't really see. Um, there's a little pin. It's real simple, guys. I don't even have to put the camera in there. I swear, it's, that's how simple it is. There's a little pin. It sticks up about just under a quarter inch. It sticks up this way, and you just get this pin, and it's spring loaded. You just push it down, and it lets everything out. Okay. So I'll just push that down. Okay. And it's, everything comes flying out of there. Try not to drag it across the top of the pin. Kind of mars up the pin a little. I mean, if you did it like a hundred times, it would mar up the pin. Here's the original spring that comes with the uh, your stock DPMS. Nice spring. Okay, and here's the original buffer. Okay. Okay. And uh, it's got some kind of metal in it, some kind of plates in it. And uh, the new buffer has a, uh, am I saying this right? Tungsten powder? Whatever that is, it's cool. Spikes Tactical Buffer. ST T2. Heavy buffer. Okay. Has like a, uh, it's like a pass. It feels like a, um, like ground up lead. It's real fine. Tungsten powder, I guess that's what it is, hey. Okay, now if you notice, uh, when you put these next to each other, they are the exact same size, so nothing's changing that way. One's black, and one's, I don't know, I don't know what that is, aluminum. And like I said, the only difference is, this has the softer powder in it, and it definitely helps recoil, because when I was shooting my AR, it felt like I was shooting undercharged ammo. That's how much of a difference it made. I ain't even kidding you. Okay, here's the Dave Tub spring. Okay. Oh, a little tricky. They're making this tricky on us, huh? There we go. Whew. Damn. As you can see, the Dave Tub spring is a different style spring and is about five inches longer than your stock spring and it's flat wire spring which is better quality spring it holds its memory better and these are guaranteed for life I think pretty sure on that and you just slide it on in this one you have to kind of work it in because it's a flat spring so it, it, it gets hung up on the pin a little bit more than the uh, than the other spring. Try to get the spring in as much as you can before you put the buffer in. The last thing I want to do is keep... Okay, about like that. And then you put your buffer in there. Try to keep the spider right side up for wrong because he's OCD, man. He's like me. That's yeah, about right. Work that bad boy in there good. Looks good. Okay. And, and there that's you it. go. Use your head, dude. And then take it out. Try it again. There it goes. Jeez. It's new, folks. It's new.
really don't have to do it on that one. Once that one's lined up, that'll be lined up. I just like doing that because it feels cool. Yeah, right. Okay, the spring is in. Now, we gotta go to the range, right? Let's take this off, get it off the uh, bag. See how she feels. Oh my God, what a difference. Feels nice. Okay guys, that's it. That is, uh, Ron's AR is finished. That's all I can do to it. I'm not an AR guy, you know. I'm just, I just recently started getting into them about a year ago. And then I recently started working on them, I don't know, maybe six months ago. So I'm not real familiar about everything. Um, you know, let's give it the, uh, let's put a P mag in here. And uh, give it its overall, what it's going to look like. The P mag really finishes it off. And uh, I don't know if you guys remember what it looked like before. It was real plain Jane, but now he has a uh, superior AR-15 right now. Did everything we could to it. I don't know what else we could do to it. It's awesome. Now we need to get it to the range and hit some bullseyes with it. We got to uh, zero in this EOTech. And the EOTech is just like a scope. It has a uh, windage and elevation adjustment on the other side. I didn't want this video to be long. It's getting lengthy now. Of course, we got to get new ladder covers because we have we have different size uh, hand guards on it now. But you have. Uh, let me see which one's what. This is it's not a. Uh, okay. This is your, your elevation is here, down and up, elevation, right? Down, up, down, or if you're Eric, you're always down. This is your windage, right, left, just like a scope. And the best way to sight it in is, well, that my range has a 50 yard marker now, thank God. So we're gonna sight this in at 50 yards. What you do is you get a big, the biggest target you can get out there, take, take three or four shots and see where your group is. And then you just start working from there. It's very, very simple to uh, sight in these uh, EOTechs. All right, thanks for watching guys. This is it, this is the complete series. Hope you enjoyed it. We're gonna do an AK series as soon as I find a decent AK. I'm not sure which one. Well, the ones I want and the ones that are available are two different things. So, I'm going to have to see what I can do. Um, I don't know when that's happening. If I can get a good price on one, it can happen right away. If I can't get a good price on one, i got to put more money out. It might have to uh, happen next month. But the AR series is done. Like I said, hope you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you guys very soon. I know we got to get this to the range next, but we'll see when. I don't know why. I don't know when. See ya.